driving through flash flood conditions here. It's been raining like crazy out in the desert, and uh, that's what happens. We're coming up on another pretty uh, serious water flowing across the, the road. It doesn't seem like it's so deep that we can't get through. Yeah, this has been quite a different sort of experience. There is some uh, hope on the horizon. Uh, it looks like it may be a little clear up in front of us. We're going to go into the Valley of Fire and we're going to uh, see how much of it we can actually, if, if we can even get out and do any hiking, but if anything else we'll just go a different route to get to the hotel we're staying in over in Mesquite tonight. Just see some new territory that we haven't seen before. This is uh, alongside the road here. Hopefully it won't get too wet as we're going through another bit of water, but it's, it's like a little river out here. There's just so much water. And it'll sink in here. We're still driving and it has stopped raining for a while now and interestingly enough it doesn't take long for all of the water that was on the road to go away when you're out here in the desert it soaks in pretty fast we were going through some pretty deep puddles there for a while but the last few dips and valleys we went through we didn't really have any uh, real major puddles or anything to go through we're getting into really interesting country up here it's very pretty that looks like we're gonna have mostly stones and dirt on the road there. Last time we drove this, it was in a beautiful blue sky, sunshiny day. We're getting it from a really different perspective this time. And it's very bumpy. We had to stop and pull over because we saw this white stuff all along the side of the road and then we realized this is hail. It hailed in the desert. Oh, there you go. It's cold out here. I know, it is actually pretty cold, but that must have been one heck of a storm for it to, I mean, it's all over the place. As far as we can see, you can, it's just white out here, and it just really must have been one heck of a storm that jumped a lot of hail out here. But it looks like it snowed, and it's just kind of all over the place. It's really crazy. Wow. of us is our sign that says Valley of Fire State Park and we're gonna go on in and see how much of this we can do if anything today because of this weird weather. out from the Valley of Fire. A uh, park ranger met us at the front gate and said the park is completely flooded. Roads are not impassable. There was a river flowing across the road that was about 15 car lengths and I don't even know how deep it was but uh, we're coming back through the area again where all the hail was on either side of the road and uh, we're gonna, I guess, head towards our hotel and uh, get situated there and uh, figure out what we do from that point. But no Valley of Fire today. 
Okay, we are just driving into the Mopa Indian Reservation on our way to the Casablanca Resort where we are staying tonight. The weather's clearing up over here. Too bad it wasn't this pleasant over there. I still don't think we would have got in with the flood waters as high as they were, but we're on our way to Mesquite. Okay, so this is looking much better now. The weather has cleared up a whole lot better here, but this is looking away from the direction that we just came out of. But, uh, oh wow, yeah. You can kind of see over here. That's where we came from. So it still doesn't look all that hot there. But uh, it's, it's clearing up. You can see where it's clearing up, and the mountains over there look really neat. chance of rain in Zion today so it remains to be seen just how much hiking we're gonna get done there um, but we are out here driving it's really pretty country and oof, we'll back off a little bit there's Chico our, our navigator or our, actually our driver I'm the navigator but uh, just kind of enjoying the scenery hopefully we can stay dry for at least a little while here we are now driving through the Virgin River Gorge area. It is so pretty in here. It's like this must have been carved right through the rock. It's just an incredible drive with just the most amazing views. You see layers and layers of rock here. Just twisting and turning and winding down through this canyon, which is Wow, it's just really incredible. You can't really see too far up there, but wow, my window's filthy. almost through the gorge and here's what it looks like you know how big the semis are well they're nothing compared to that it goes all the way through I think there's an arch there I got this big huge cliff face And 
the gorgeous that way. And there's Lori taking some photos. And below us is the Virgin River. A couple of rapids down there. And just keeps going. And that's where the sun is in that direction. But it's just absolutely beautiful out here right now. We have some gray clouds up there, but a little bit of blue, which is not bad. Cedar Pocket, the Virgin River Canyon Recreation Area, and the scenery continues. I mean, it's, it's really just so pretty down in here, and we're going right along the Virgin River the whole way in, and um, just the whole view around here, it's reflecting off the windshield, but it's just so pretty. A lot of people are pulling off where there are the view, very few pull-offs they have. Everyone's kind of pulling off and taking pictures and just kind of taking in the scenery because this is not a road that you cannot pay attention to what you're doing when you're driving but as you come around a bend it just sort of opens up and we're down in this valley here and it's just so pretty found another place right alongside the highway you can see the Virgin River coming down there we've got these little trees I think they're Joshua trees the river just keeps coming around the bottom there oops beautiful scenery all the way around So we're just kind of looking back where we came from. There's a lot of mountains all around us. And it just keeps going forever.
Okay, hello Lori. Hello. Oh no, it's windy so it might get a lot of buffeting. It's not too bad up here. But there's the overlook sign. Laverkin over. Laverkin. Down there. There's Laverkin. All the scenery around it what makes it so amazing. Yeah. Wow. That's the direction we came from. And there's a little path that goes to the cliff. We're gonna see if we can go out to that little cliff. But here's what we see all the way around. We came up this dirt road, but this car is handling pretty good. It's not too bad. Back to Laverkin. And back to the overlook sign. So we're following this little path here. And again in this I don't know, canyon on the left. Yeah, so yeah, this little trail just keeps going. Goes down to the bottom there, makes a ride, just keeps hanging around, and then eventually I guess it goes at the very bottom of that canyon. Huh. Very interesting. And Zion is over there. Those big tall mountains are at. Okay, we're walking. Found another overlook. And the river's way down at the bottom there. Oh, there's little cactuses. Wow. Yeah. It goes right down that canyon. Hear the water down yeah, there. It goes all along there. I guess it's a trail. It looks we'll go out there to that little overlook. Is, and look down. Just be careful. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Good. Just kidding. Just <laughs> oh, There's the uh, the canyon. I don't know what creek this is, or maybe. Maybe that's the Virgin River, I don't know. But it's pretty awesome. There's two trails out there. There's one on the bottom there by the river that looks like a car trail or a vehicle trail and the one on the top which looks more like a hiking trail. Yeah, it's a lot of them. This is the road that goes to the Laverkin uh, Overlook and we're just coming back from there. We were up there a little while ago. Now we're heading back towards Zion. Looking out the side window towards the east in the direction of Zion. Another little town way out there. We just keep stopping off of Highway 9 going in towards Zion because we just keep finding more and more of this incredible scenery. A lot of people are doing the same thing we're doing. It's going to take us forever to get to Grafton, which is a ghost town, which is where we're trying to get to from here. But uh, 
just can't beat the scenery. It is just so incredibly beautiful. And, oh, and the sun's starting to hit that one spire over there. All right, we are down, way down into this uh, canyon. We're in a place called Grafton, which is a ghost town, and we are now at the Grafton Cemetery. We're gonna have to watch the weather very carefully here because the dirt road we came on is not passable at all when it's wet, and I can definitely understand why. So uh, we'll just have to see how much of this area we get to visit before we may have to leave. guy didn't live very long. He was born in 1841 and died in 1866 and according to his tombstone he was killed by Indians. Robert Berry. So we made it to Grafton which is a ghost town and here's the little church that everybody talks about. And there's a little like schoolhouse or a house over there. And Lori's getting ready to go into it. There's the little sheds over here. And then there are some other houses right up that road, which we're going to go visit. But the road is really muddy.
still in Grafton. This is the little houses we just walked through. That was a little like a little shed in the back and then we got the main house in the front here. came across uh, another little piece of Grafton just this corral goes around this log cabins overlooking this mountains or mesas in the back and then goes through here it's a little wooden fence and there's Lori and then we've got another little house here taking a photo of this little wagon <laughs> with the mountain in the background. Ah. You know what she does to get some photos? Ah, she's looking for her next shot. Look at her. There it is.
doesn't even pay to look at the weather forecast because it doesn't really matter it's wrong usually so I'm hoping they're wrong because they said it's supposed to rain until like five o'clock this afternoon and right now it's only about one so uh, hoping for some clearing and some uh, blue skies and uh, some hiking All right we're in Zion and we are right just through the gates to enter the park and we are nearing the switchbacks that you have to go up to get into the park there is a hike that we know of here right off of this first switchback we're gonna have to try and find the trailhead and we're walking towards that right now and hoping to do our first hike here in the park okay these are the switchbacks don't know if you can really see the cars that they're up there coming down but there's a bunch of them that's where you drive through to go on up into the park and I think over here we found our trailhead and uh, we're getting ready to do a hike okay, so we're on our first hike and uh, going over to a spring and some waterfalls this is the view Yeah. Goes along this little trail and eventually comes out of where there is a big um, alcove in the rock. We're not going to go that far though. Slory behind us. I see the rain is way behind, so hopefully it won't catch up to us. But we're um, alongside this little creek. Pretty, lots of green, lots of great vegetation. on here. I don't know if this was probably some of the runoff from the rain they've been getting but it's got a fair amount of water flowing through it and this is kind of what we're walking under right now. It's pretty interesting and I can hear water dripping. It's probably there. These are a lot of seep springs. The water seeps down through the limestone and uh, that's also why there's a lot of greenery around it because it's a relatively wet area but it takes a long long time for this water to seep down in through the sandstone but it finally eventually gets there and uh, she goes up in front we're gonna catch up yep so Lori's top of these rocks above the creek and now we're gonna have to wow. find a way to get around these and get to the top. I have to go over there somewhere. And so we're walking alongside the water now. Water is nice and clear. Okay, Chico's coming through this little thing I just climbed through. 
It's not too bad, really. Coming up in front of us, you can sort of see the waterfall we're hiking towards. Alrighty, here we are at the waterfall. Really nice. Short hike, strenuous. I do a bit of boulder scrambling, but it's really nice. There's people over here changing the settings on the camera, getting ready to take some more pictures. Alright, that's the waterfall. Finally, the whole group that was here has left. We got it to ourselves. And there's down the canyon. And up and over. is our view back the other direction. <laughs> really, really nice place. With the tall canyon walls. We're getting some blue sky up there. Thank goodness it's starting to clear up a little bit. And we're in Zion. Make it down this hill here. Or there's rock. No. Oh. And then through the hole. I was coming through the part that I just came through. He is doing it a little more gracefully than I did. He doesn't have to sit on his butt to get through. came out, well at least it got a little bit clear, and now we can see
see these mountains and cliffs and mesas and whatever else pretty clearly there's still some clouds way up on top of that mesa there